Hello guys, what is going on everybody? I do hope you're having a fantastic day today and welcome back to another video of my aviation so if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe leave a big like on the video for more aviation content like this so in today's video we have another review for you guys this is a special one and yeah just before I want to mention is that um, one of my friends, JM Aviation, he'll not be uploading for quite a while. So yeah, just want you guys to let you know if you know his channel. But anyways, um, with that done, we have the review. This is by Phoenix Models 1 to 400 scale. This is the Ryanair Boeing 737-800. And yeah, I have already unboxed this and yeah, I'll just be doing a review on the box and the model itself. So I got this because it was recently my birthday. Got it from Aviation Retail Direct at Heathrow. And if you said, I have already done like a video on Aviation Retail Direct. So I'll put a link in the description for that video if you want to see. It's just basically a tour on the shop. And yeah. So... Um, I want to give a big shout out to them because they also have a website aviationretaildirect.co.uk and they gave me a 10% um, discount um, for my birthday. So um, this model only cost like 29, 29 pounds, whatever you don't know the other currency, but yeah, that was just the price. And yeah, I... The reason why I got this is that I, I really want to do like a European airport and this and I have made my decision to do a Cardiff airport first, CWL, as it's the closest airport and my home one. So um really nice art design on the box. We have Boeing 737 a picture of the aircraft computerized. And other labels, you got the registration, it is Echo India, Golf X-Ray November. This is a limited edition model. And you got like the Harp, Ryanair, product license. Here's the side of the box. Like Phoenix's boxes, I'm slightly similar to NG. And yeah. Love the colours here represent the airline's livery, so that's really cool. So, yeah, um, if you want to get a Ryanair 737 800, I highly recommend going for Phoenix, just because, um, they're the only ones that has done a Ryanair model recently, especially with Winglet. So yeah, um, this is the July 2019 release. So, yeah, it's like this was slightly like released a year ago now. And yeah, they can still be fa um, found on several websites and model stores, so. So here's the model, guys. Let's get into the review. So this aircraft is registered as Echo India Dash Golf X Ray November, which was delivered to Ryanair on December 2018 and is a 1.6 year old aircraft. This is operated by Ryanair itself. And this is one of their newer Boeing 737-800s. The aircraft also seats up to 189 passengers, which is quite a high density for a 737-800. The fleet consists of one Boeing 737-700, which is used for training purposes only, a staggering 440 Boeing 737-800, they are, they are the largest operator for the Boeing 737-800 but they are operated by four different airlines which is Ryanair itself, Malt Air, Buzz Air and Ryanair UK. 135 Boeing 737 MAX 8 for order and 
26 A320s with 14 orders for them. These A320s are part of the Ryanair Group but are operated by Lauder Air and is wearing the Lauder Air livery. So, as there is sunlight now, for as I will be starting review, I will try and take advantage of the sunlight. So, your lighting will be a bit more different for this review now. So, yeah. So, the Phoenix 737 mold isn't the best, but detail-wise, it's really good. So, I already have a Phoenix 737 mold that was by, Aero, that's a Aeromexico one. And I think this one's a bit more better as it's more newer. So, yeah. So, starting us off, we'll be starting with the le left side, actually. So... We have the cockpit window here, nicely shaded, and we have the nose cone. We got the landing gear nose, and there is some um, three letters there. That is GXN, that is the registration of the aircraft. L1 boarding door, and yeah, the nose of the Phoenix and Free Seven Mold isn't the best. It's a bit off because it's not too realistic like the real one. Especially like the top of the nose itself. But anyways, yeah, um, I think the wings might be a bit too high. That might be another flaw. I don't know if it is. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you know. But yeah, so proceeding on, we have the harp and rhino in blue. We got the yellow stripe, really nice yellow stripe, and we have. The blue underbelly going along the fuselage and we have the yellow stripe and blue underbelly here as well on the engines. The engines are a really good shape and size. And yeah, I think Phoenix got the colours correct. Some people might be um some people might complain that the blue is a bit too dark, but yeah, if it was against the sunlight the blue might have been a bit more brighter, but Normally, I think it would pretty much look like this, really correct. So, yeah, I think Phoenix, in my opinion, got the, the blue correct, the colours, all of the colours, in fact. And, yeah, one good detail they've also added is Reiner outside the winglet and Reiner inwards inside the winglet. See, that's really cool, just like the real aircraft. On this model, it features five antennas, two on the bottom, three, two on the top, three on the bottom. Yep, so now we have the two emergency over wing doors. We also have nicely shaded windows and the registration, which is e, um, Echo Indio dash. Golf X-Ray November. We also have the L2 door. And we've got tail, nice blue tail with the harp again. And horizontal stabilizer. It's a really cool model. Um, so, yep. On your right side of the model, basically the same. But this time we do have the cargo doors. It's really hard to see from this angle. But we do have one cargo door here. Another one located at the rear of the aircraft. And yeah, engines are really nice too. They got the yellow stripe and blue underbelly. And they're good size. So now um, we'll just look at the over top of the model. See the details. So we have the overwing, de overwing details and they are, they are really good. I'll give that to Phoenix. You got like different shades of grey and you got details you would have on a 737 wing. You got some beacon lights and a dome. Not 3D but oh well. And then we have two antennas as I said. And yeah, nice the wing detail there. And underneath the model, if I could. Okay, so. Yeah, good zoom now, good focus. 
So we do have the nose landing gear and the main landing gear. They're also um nicely aligned. Looking by the wings, I think they are a bit too high, but I think they are more better than the older molds. Then we have the three antennas, two over here and one there. Got the Stantle and Phoenix logo. And we've got um these two holes, which obviously the 737 doesn't have landing gear doors, so the main gear just pops in there when it closes during takeoff. We also have the registration under the left wing. Again, got the is that the APO exhaust? I'm not sure, but I think it might be. And a really nice underbelly. Obviously, this is dark blue. You can see the underwing details as well. See, a beautiful model here by Phoenix. I'll just take a look at that wing. See, um, nice engine details as well. And yeah. Everything except from the mold is really good. So yeah, um, I really enjoyed this review with you guys and yeah, um if you wanna get again a 737 800 Ryanair, highly recommend for going for Phoenix. The price wouldn't be too high. And yeah, so I wanna give a big shout out to Aviation Retail Direct again. If you live like near London or you're going to like visit London Heathrow, you could um take a visit in that aviation shop as they have a variety of models there. So yeah, um we will end the review here. So if you enjoyed guys, please again don't forget to subscribe, leave a big like on the video for more aviation content like this. So yeah, it's been a pleasure doing a review you guys especially with this model excited to use these in new airport updates so yep mad aviation is now signing off goodbye <music>